In today's review, I'm going to look at this. This is a B drive, a B drive from Synology. The B drive is a little different because the B drive physically plugs into your computer, right? So you take the B drive here and you plug it in similar to something like this. Like this is you know, a little USB type thing, or do I have USBs on hand? Con, I'm a tech guy. I always have USBs on hand. You know, a little USB, plug that in. Um, so you get some of the concept of that, of like direct attached storage, where it goes into your computer rather than, you know, just being a network attached thing. What elevates this is, yes, it does plug into your computer and you are going to be backing up your files, your videos, your photos, whatever, directly onto this kind tiny little thing. That's cool. Then you can take it with you. It's meant to be, you know, kind of like a, net, a direct attached storage, a little thing you pop in your pocket, plug it in, take, do your work on it, take your files, put it on here, whatever, just like something like this. But what really elevates this product is that it's kind of hybridized. Now, I can't do it because it's disconnected. But what you do then is not only can you use it just like a standard, you know, little plug and play uh, SSD. This is SSD in here, so it's fast. It's not like a little USB dongle thing. This is actually fast. Uh, you get the B Drive app on your phone, which is not connected because it's in my hand. And then what you do is you can do direct uploads, backups from your phone from your phone. So I can do file management from my phone with the software. I can upload photos, videos, files, like actual files from my phone directly onto this without plugging it into here. That's the thing, I don't have to plug this into here. When I record my YouTube channel, I do all of it on my phone, unless I'm using my phone in the video, in which case I use this camera. I do all of it on here, and then what I need to do is I take my thing, plug it in here, take this out then, put it into my PC, do all kinds of management and get it all set up. No longer do I have to do that. This remains plugged into my computer. It doesn't plug into here. I don't need to do that. It's plugged into my computer. Then while it's plugged in there, I can come into this app here. I can upload directly from here my videos, my YouTube videos from here, my personal photos as well, my personal videos as well. You can also do iCloud backups from iCloud directly onto the B-Link through the phone. And I don't have to have anything plugged in here. And then what happens is when I upload from here, I upload my, uh, you know, my videos, files, personal, stuff, um, or my iCloud backups, whatever, my device backups, all that kind of stuff, it automatically goes over the network and appears on this, which is not even plugged into my phone, it's plugged into my PC. Okay, so we'll follow this through. Basically, the first step is to plug this into my network-enabled computer. Uh, you could use Mac or Windows, doesn't matter. Uh, it's telling you you can use USB-C or USB-A. I'm going to use USB-C. So this is my PC here, plug it in. Okay, so I've logged into my Synology account on the software. What is the software actually called? It's actually called B Drive. Okay, so that's that. Uh, what do I want to use it for? I would like to set up computer backup, file sync. I don't backup would be like literally backup your PC. I don't want to do that. Uh, you can do file sync between computers and other devices. Uh, that would work. You can do photo backup, external drives. That's probably more what I'm gonna do. I don't need to back, I personally don't need to back up like my other files, like, I don't know, documents and that kind of thing, but you might, you might want to do that. Um, so, you know, you can do that. For me, it's gonna be like almost exclusively videos and videos and pictures, obviously. You can do it directly from the paper, but I'm gonna do it here. Okay, so now it's gonna say, do you want to pair your devices? So I'm gonna pair my basically my phone to the B drive. My laptop is already in that situation, go like that. Okay, so I just scanned that on, it was on my screen there. Back up all photos, back up new photos. Uh, you can choose what you wanna do. New photos, old photos, all photos, uh, bow, bow drive, B drive. <laughs> I guess it is a bow drive, go like that there. Automatically use cellular data when there's no Wi-Fi. Um, I have a lot of data. You don't have to do that, but I'm fine with that because I don't have, like, I have very, very high amounts of data. Photo format, so it's going to back them up. Um, you can go compatible. You can go original and compatible, but do both. So, like, my phone can, records in, what is it, H, HEIC or whatever it's called? HEIC, is that right? Um, which is, you know, very compressed but less compatible. You can go JPEG or you can go originals. I'll just go like that. I don't really care. 
right? So I can see I'm actually already accessing this. So free space, loading, 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 loading. Uh, on my computer, it says B drive ready to work. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, already done that. Okay, so got it. So it's just gonna tell you, you know, if you wanna eject your B drive, you know, don't, don't just hard pull it out of your computer. It's fine, very cool. We have two terabytes of storage, basically. Basically it's empty. So when you get like true 64-bit, uh, whatever. So it's 1862, tons of storage there. We have our little guy there. You can eject it here, which you want to do. You don't just want to pull it out of your computer, obviously. You can back up my SD card. Uh, I can't do that literally right now because I'm using it to record. That's fine. Uh, iCloud, sign into my Apple account, I'll sign in. Uh, I mean, I don't have anything that would be on there. Just be aware that you know you are giving access to your personal files on your iCloud. So you know if you have just be aware that that's going to be a thing. I have my B drive here. Um, those are the original settings. So you can see the drive is healthy. Same as I saw on the PC, whatever. So uh, you can do full backup. I don't want to back up everything, but you can. I mean, if you want to back up every single picture that you take on your phone, and then later you can sort them out, like you don't necessarily have to do it then like you know, all at one time. You just back up everything and then you say, yeah, later we'll come in here and we'll check. Uh, you can come in here, you can go files, photos, camera. Oh, that's what the like that. Okay. So help if I didn't drop my phone. So go like that. So we're gonna back that up directly into the B drive. That's literally a photo I took. That wasn't I had a photo and I'm backing it up. I took that photo with the app. Um, and then we can come up here on the actual PC. And my PC has the B drive connected, and you can see the photo just appeared. Both of them just appeared. Sick. Uh, of course, there's in here, you know, you can access, you know, the statistics and the data in here, uh, but it just kind of looks like a standard drive here, right? So I took that photo on my phone. Okay, I took that photo on my phone, and then it uploaded directly through the network into my B drive here. So there's a photo, right? There's a smug asshole right here. Okay. It uploaded, and boom, look at that. Look at that. I mean, it's pretty freaking cool, right? You can't, you can be the biggest hater on like various, look at it, it even tells you, on various tech and be like, blah, 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 whatever. I mean, this is pretty cool. Like the fact that it's it's connected to my laptop right here. Later I can connect it to, you know, my mini over there, whatever. Um, and it's kind of working as like a, a NAS of itself, right? It's reasonably quick, honestly. It's not bad. Really, really, really not bad. Boom. Okay, so those are uploaded. Of course, you could do like file management and stuff in here, but you can see here I have that video. I have this, right? So that just came from my phone, right? I just came that came from my phone. So you can do this uh, automatically, right? So when you come in here, you can set it up so that, you know, if you want to go as simple as possible, oops, if you want to go as simple as possible, you can have it so that it automatically backs up all your new photos. Every time you take a photo, it's going to back up. And then later you can come back and you can test it. You can play around with it. You can say, you know, is it going to be good or bad? Do I look good in this picture? Yes, let's keep it. Is it bad? Delete it, right? And you can do that from your PC as a result, right? So you can come in here and you can come in, you can say, you know, they're already on here. And, you know, I have these two photos here. Right, this one here doesn't make sense because I was going to show. I wanted to show the Mac in the background, right? So, oops. So delete it. I might actually want to keep that to be honest. And then now I have the one with the Mac. So you can manage it directly from the like your Windows interface here, right? And that's my actual B drive folder, of course. So I can go like that. So that's pretty cool. That's actually pretty damn cool. The fact that you can do that directly on this B drive. Uh, it's just a clean little clean little thing, right? So those were, I guess those were uploaded as files technically, right? You have your photos, uh, back them up as, you, as need be. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna set up this, uh, no need for that. We're gonna set up this PC here, this is my mini PC, because I'm gonna want both of them to have the same program, the B drive. Okay, B drive for desktop. Hello, let's sign in again.
Okay, and here we go. So now I have the mini PC set up. So the mini PC, same B drive plugged in. You can see down there, plugged into that. I just basically plugged it in, logged in. Same idea, right? So I can get it to set up and have a folder here if need be, but I can also just access the B drive here, as you can see. There's the B drive, same interface. Now let's do something else here. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you something cool. So the B drive, we have those files here. Uh, I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna grab, I don't know, these from my test. I'm gonna move these in here into the B drive. Okay, so now they're on the B drive. Physically, they are on the B drive in this folder right here, B drive. You can see it's just this PC, there's the internal thing and there's the B drive not complicated right so that's that there now i'm going to move over to my mini pc or move over to my uh my desktop my laptop over here move over here let's come in here go like this b b drive right so i have my so i just created that folder test right here on my PC, or on the B drive, sorry. I did it from my phone, right? So I connected it from the phone. Uh, it was in files, I just made it in there. So I just literally, I just make another one right now, I'm doing live, so just create folder, test two, watch this. It's there and it's already there, so it's just instant, right? It's going from, I'm doing management of the files on my phone, but it's also being managed on the uh, B drive. Pretty darn cool. And uh, you can go like that and you can see here it's actually doing stuff. So there's also the original software and I can come in this and I can go and say, what are we doing here? Well, we're uploading that video like that. So we're uploading that video right there. And then on here, it's also telling me the same thing, right? Transferring, it doesn't necessarily know what it's getting yet because it's not my phone, but it's telling me it's transferring from the iPhone. Very cool. So let's let that run for a minute. So, so that's that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. I think we're gonna talk about it. That's probably enough. I don't really need to talk more about it, I don't think. So what do I think about it? The little B drive, the little B drive. It's actually really cool. It's just such a like, I don't know, just like a good idea, generally speaking. It's a tiny little thing, right? You have your tiny little B drive. Uh, it's simple. So, I mean, you're getting some of the benefits of, you know, like a direct attached storage solution like this. Like this is just a random SSD or you can get a random like USB type thing, plug them into your computer and, you know, that's fine. Like what you're basically getting is this is your device, right? You plug it in, your files are on here and it's connected to your computer. And that's all you can do. That's done, right? It is what it is. It's just a little plug-in thing. This has some of that and then it also has some of this like the B, uh, this is the B station, or just generally like NAS in general. So you're ending up with a direct attached storage, like a little USB thing, that also works over your network. Isn't that just, it's just such a freaking cool idea. So I'm able to use this here, I'm able to have files on my PC, uh, you know, plug this into my PC, have files on here, work on this, for example, directly. I'm able to actually disconnect it from my mini PC. I can plug it into my laptop, for example, and do the same thing, just like I would do with something like this, the same type of concept, which is cool. The other thing that you can do then is you can also manage and use this directly from your phone. Right, so you can come in here, it's disconnected, obviously. It's not in line, but you can then come in here on your phone. You can upload directly from your phone. It's disconnected because I'm holding it. Uh, <laughs> maybe I should have like, did this part where I'm not holding it because it looks cool, but um, you could show it. But anyways, you'll be able to upload directly from your phone, do file management directly from your phone as well. So for me, I mean, how many people use their phone as their primary device? It's 2025 right now. Uh, the phone, the mobile phone, is the primary device of society, right? It's, it's, it is, it's just the primary device. Yes, I still use my laptop all the time, constantly. I use my mini PC or desktop all the time, constantly. But me, like other people, my primary device is my phone. Is you're able to upload directly from your phone. So for me, that means uploading my YouTube, like my content directly from my phone onto this, I can just leave this attached probably to the mini PC most of the time, just leave it attached there, and then just you know, upload directly from my phone into this, but I don't have to plug it in, I don't have to plug it in here. 
It's just going over my network and it's going into my uh, little mini PC and onto this directly from that. That's the, that's the review. Uh, the little B drive here is a really good idea. They asked me if I wanted to review it and I was like, it's cool, but you know, I didn't really know much about it. I kind of went into this one blind and just, I don't, you know, I don't necessarily watch tons of reviews because I like to explore products. That's the way that I work. And I think it's a really good idea. If you're looking for uh, the benefits of, you know, a storage like this, where it's going to be, you know, like nice, fast plug and play storage, really great. But you're also going to get the benefit of, you know, just full synchronization with your phone um, in your network. It's a really good idea. I mean, it makes sense. That Synology would make something that's not just local media. It's not just local media. It's a network type solution. So great, honestly. It's a really good product. This is a really cool product, actually.